All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. This is Viking Designs. Today we're talking about Burley Avenue, which is a job me and the boys just finished up about a week ago. Figured I'd show you guys what went into it and what the clients got out of it. Basically, I went to a site meeting and the clients explained to me that they have this empty little pocket in the back corner of their yard. They were thinking maybe they want to put in like a deck or some paving, potentially like a spa, jacuzzi type thing uh, with a pergola. They also wanted to move the glass because it was sort of really boxing in the pool. So I went away from this site meeting, drew up a few things, sent over a few photos so I could figure out where they were at. So time for the trusty old tablet. Now I found this photo online. I sent this photo to our clients. They were really into it. They really liked that diffused light sort of look. Everything painted white and looking crispy and... All right, so what I sometimes like to do is go to Google Earth. And if it's the type of job that's outdoors like this one was, then I can get a lay of the land. I can see where the pool is. Um, and, and it just gives me a really good bird's eye view. So I went to Google Earth, snapped this little screenshot that you guys can see here. And this is sort of showing you what we were working with. Okay, so this is the basic backyard layout. You've got your pool area just here. All right, just zoom in a bit here. I know it's blurry as, you still get the gist. That is the pool. Now the glass currently runs along the front here and then it does a 90 degree turn. What we were thinking was to remove the glass from here. This is the area that we have to work with. This is our corner. All right, so first things first, in our local area, they say you can't build right up on your boundary. You need to stay 900 millimeters off your boundary. So we decided to use that area for a garden bed. So. 900 millimeters all the way down here and 900 millimeters all the way down there. That is all going to be beautiful tropical garden. How good's that look? Okay, so so basically what we're left with is, is where we can build the deck and now this will be our decking. Then the idea is to stick the spa, hot tub, jacuzzi, whatever you call it, in this corner. And then we can build our pergola, throw some beams up and then do the pergola over the top of the deck. Throw some battens on top of that and you can kind of see what we're trying to achieve here. Now, once we get this deck and this pergola done, then we're going to bring our glass straight across the front here. So we're just gonna have one long run of glass all the way across the front. That is really gonna link the areas between the pool and the spa. So now you're gonna have a really nice flow from your pool to your spa. Your spa is put behind the glass, so it's good for compliance issues. After our chat, they decided they were pretty keen on a deck. Happy for it to be stepped up off the ground so we don't have to excavate. They wanted a pergola but we were still unsure of the type of pergola. They wanted to build the deck and a bench seat around a spa that they were gonna get installed. So I had a bit of a direction in which way we needed to go. I knew some of the elements that they wanted and it was just about piecing it all together. Now, just here is our deck layout. It's gonna allow this new structure to be completely wrapped, giving them some nice privacy and also adding to that tropical feel that they're sort of going for. Now for this project, the clients wanted to go with Merbau Decking, which is an Indonesian hardwood. It's actually the first one we've done in quite some time. Um, they have an existing Merbau deck up by the house. Instead of introducing a new material, it just made sense to use Merbau here as well. So that's what we did. So that is your decking layout with your garden beds and your spa installed. And then this here is the pergola layout. 
you've got your corner posts. We're gonna use 112 by 112 pre-primed design pine. And then we've got our beam at the back, our beam at the front, and then our rafters. Roughly 800 millimeter centers. And then on top of the rafters, you're gonna have the 66 by 19 millimeter battens. And that's what's gonna create that look, that diffused light, um, which is gonna be super nice on a sunny day. So then these battens sit on top of the rafters and that's pretty much it. Once we got all the posts, beams, rafters and battens on, then it was a massive amount of painting to make it all look that really nice crisp white. Well worth the effort though, it turned out beautifully. All right guys, and that is Burley Ave. It was a pretty simple little job. We wanted to get it in before Christmas for these guys so they can enjoy it over the summer holidays. Let me know your thoughts. You guys dig in the design. I know I do. I wouldn't mind that in my backyard. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.